Welcome to my channel. I am Monica and today in this video, I'll walk you through what are the Jira issues and how you can work with them efficiently. Firstly, we will understand what exactly is Jira issue. So in Jira issue can represent anything from a software bug, a project task, a feature request, even improvement. Essentially, a Jira issue is a piece of work that needs to be tracked. Let's start by creating a new issue. This is my Jira Cloud instance and now we will start to create an issue. There are the two ways to create the issue. First of all, you will go and hit the create button. You will choose a project. You will choose a issue type, write summary, description and the other details that needs to be filled. And the second way is just press the C from your keyboard. It will open the same window to create your Jira issue. We will select a project. We will select an issue type. Uh, I'm going to create the task. I will write this is my task for recording a video and i can choose the component but i don't want and this is the description this is my script description i can choose the assignee assigned to me i can select the priority okay it's the low i can select the labels uh, could be a sample space and i can choose the information about the target version if i want like this i can fill the details when i am creating the issue and after when you have filled all the necessary information just click on the create button your issue is now a part of your development project here i am using the development project now this issue will appear in the backlog when you will go to the backlog then here you will find this issue this is my task for recording a video. This is how you can create the issues in your project. This issue can be in your backlog or this issue can be on your active sprint as well depend on your project setting. If you want to see this issue in the issue detail view then you can click and here you will find all the information in the sidebar where you can see the target version your status your description and the any other information about the field this is how you can open your jira issue in the issue detail view if you want to change the status you then you can simply go here and then you can change the status let's suppose i want it from to do to in development then i can do it with the help of this status menu and if you want to open it into the another tab then you can simply go and open it into the another tab here my dev 218 task and i can see all the informations where i can put some comments if i want to put some comments on my issue then i can do it this is my testing comment I, if I want to use this toolbar, I can make the bold, italic and maybe I can play around and then I can hit the save. This is how we can comment on the task. And here again, we have the option to change the status. You can go and change the statuses here. If you want to see the workflow of your project, you have an option to read only workflow. You can simply go and check how the workflow of your project is working here and how many statuses you have what kind of transitions you have you can get all the information with the help of this read only workflow from here you can change the assignee right now it is assigned to me if i want to change the assignee i can pick the user from this uh, select list and i can do the same here with the label i can change the priority i can put the story point original estimate time tracking and the components it depends how many fields you want to fill or what kind of information you want to put in your jira issues there is also the another way to change the status of the jira issues you can go to the board and here we have the different columns and each columns have their own statuses so let's suppose this is the task one and i want to move it from the in development like this i can change the status of the issues when you will click here, you can see the status is in development. And if you will move this to the in QA, the status will change. And when you will click and see the status is in QA right now. So this is how you can also change the status by dragging and dropping your issues into the column of the board. It doesn't matter you have a Kanban board or you have a scrum board. 
the process is same you can simply drag and drop the tickets into the different different columns and the status will map accordingly one thing that i want to explain here at the time of issue creating you can see we have the drop down of the issue type right now i have load of issue types maybe in your project you have story task epic or any other issue type it completely depends on your project setting or your project requirements i will cover these issue types in my another video where i will describe about the issue types more thanks for watching this video and if you found this video helpful be sure to like share and subscribe